Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC, do everything DIY. And today we have a service call for a split system refrigerator. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech. It's a pretty big box, but it's absolutely horrendous inside. Look at this refrigerant piping. It's just insane that it's even shown like this. But today's service call is to redo this drain. Look at this thing. Last time I was here, at least I uh, put a little tie wrap here because this thing was just hanging down. And then how does it go up and then through there? I mean, it's absolutely horrendous. It's really gross. So I'm gonna rebuild this. Honestly, this should be outside of the box, but you can't get to it as it has refrigerant pipes going downstairs. Let's turn off the condensing unit. We are back in this infamous building. This is my pipe work day, so I shine stuff. I always like to walk by it. Anyways, we gotta shut off who's number 10. I label them. 10 is the pizza dough box. That's actually the power source right there. Okay. Pull that out. That thing is shut down. Last time I was here, this box was freezing up on a thermostat set to 20 degrees they keep messing around with it so i put in a digital thermostat temperature controller by renko and like that i locked it out so nobody touches it i set it properly and it's been working for a week now i didn't have a chance to redo the drain but now i do all right so during my last visit i put in that temperature controller there we ran the reaction side everything else you see that's loose was already there horrendous but we're here to do the drain let's take this cover off here because this doesn't drain into an actual drain it drains into a hot pan which it's an electric condensate pan that really should get replaced it is crazy back here but what i want to do is see exactly how and where i'm going to run this drain so this is the drain plastic so i gotta go through there into this pan so i want this open so i can measure it out i'm gonna go with copper pipe and of course copper sweats because it's gonna be a bit chilled in here so what we're gonna have to do is insulate that gotta figure out how we're gonna run this nicely there's no shelves here but maybe we should calm down and go down this way because the next hole is right there Either way, let me just take a measurement from here to, let's say here, five feet. Really, it's more like 55 inches. Let's say 55 inches. How much length we need here as far as straight pipe? 55 inches. How many feet is 55? 55. 55. One, two, three, four, five. An extra five inches would make five feet. Five inches. No. Say about eight. So 55 plus eight, 63, about 63 inches of straight pipe. see what we got here is this enough I will need to add an elbow and a T but let's see what we got here 58 is this longer it is okay Six, 62 about an inch off we can make that work plus i gotta add the fittings a t and an elbow in between should be all right perfect let's start by taking things apart get rid of that look it's not even draining because look at, look at all this come on now eh, whatever Let's cut this thing out, clean this up. 
make sure the drains are actually draining. Uh, let's get all this stuff out of the way. Ooh, I think it's was plugged. <laughs> that's nasty. All right, maybe that's why I was to going down. Either way, this all has to be redone. All right, let's take apart the old one. And get this going. That stuff is trash, man. Just leaving these on just for lights. All this stuff gotta go. I will clean up everything. I just can't get over these refrigerant pipes, man. <laughs> All right, that's that. Let's pull this thing out. I think that's 5 16 on the bottom. The one thing that's secured and rusted right there. This whole thing gotta go garbage first things first let's get this through here does it fit through that hole oops gotta go through here oh man oh there goes through there it's like the same size almost i might need to expand that all right we're gonna have to start by expanding that hole step drill bit that should make that hole let's see if it works in this strange angle oh, i can't work like this i gotta move this down can i go through that with the grommet maybe i can pull that out yeah right there I can pull that out Let's make our way through. Ooh, that shit is hot. All right, that's definitely a bigger hole there now. Can I go through the other side? Might need to make a hole in there too. Okay, so it goes through the hole now. This piece right here is a street elbow. So I'll be able to go directly with the plastic hose from there. The thing is you want this a little bit at an angle so it can drain. So we gotta figure that out. And then for that one, we're gonna use a T and T off in there. I wanna see what's the best way to get this done without going too crazy. Another thing is, we need the right sizes here. This is 5 8 so it goes right above perfectly onto this half inch copper. Here, it's a little bit big. I might be able to just clamp it down. It's going to go down anyways. Or this piece right here, half inch, goes directly on there perfectly. And then what's cool about, interesting about this one, this goes inside here perfectly. So we'll see. Plastic coming into copper, that's the goal there. Let me just try to figure out what's the best way to do this. Kind of want to get out of here as soon as possible. Honestly, I could probably just do it literally like this, where it goes down slanted, it's gonna drain perfectly. And I could just go from hose there and then hose down, or I build up a little bit. We will see. All right, so this edge, I'm just gonna sand it down a little bit. And I'm going to put in the street elbow and I can go directly in there. What I'm thinking is a little something like that. I have a press tool, press that. I'll keep this at an angle like that. Maybe just put one support bracket. One support bracket here to hold that. That bottom is being held over there. Just go the, down to the plastic holes here. Just, and then over there, I'm gonna build a T to go up, a T and a piece of pipe going up, and then it's gonna go from plastic, and I think that's the best bet. Okay, as far as over here, I'm just gonna press this just to get it started. Okay, 
okay? What I wanna do is get the support ready. So we can figure out how we're gonna do this. Maybe something a little bit like right here. Okay, but against the wall is not really gonna work. Something like this would be better. I do have something for that. Let's see what's up, see how we get this going. I do have a piece like this copper, so what I could do is, Chris, hold this here. Yeah, of course. Wait, yep. I'm gonna go down a little. Hold it right there, so it's like underneath. Yeah. So I could see what I could do is, bend this one here, start this way, where it's not too, too much. So what I could do is, do a little something like that. Maybe a little more. Let's hold this. Maybe something right here. And it would hold this pipe in place. Let's see, it will be right there. No, we need a little shorter. And I, I think that'll be a good support bracket right there. All right, hold up a sec. Okay. That went right through. Let's see if we can get the Phillips in there. We'd we'll love to put like a anchor in here, but it's not really gonna work. It's just foam in the back, so you just gotta get the right hole for the right screw. Hope that hole self tappers are no good here, so you wanna start with like a small little pilot hole and kinda force this in. That's holding in nicely. Might even put another one later. Well, at least we can st start with this and see how I can properly build this. Put this clamp on. Okay, put the clamp on and two screws. And let's see what we get. It's like a rough draft, or maybe something like this, so it's a tight squeeze there. You can use some pipe clamps and get this part started. We just need this thing to drain. I mean, look at this. You really think they care about how this thing looks? Oh my God. Got a little something like that going on. And what I want to do is fit a T, let's say, let's bring this straight down fit a T here and maybe uh, bring a pipe up and then we do the same little bit of plastic for the continuation. All right, so straight down is right here. So I'm gonna want this here. I wanna cut right here. Get this going. Right here. Got this first piece. And let's set up this T inside here. Okay, right there. Sand down that edge. Let's sand this part a little bit. It's all new, fresh pipe. It's gonna go further down. We gotta set that up. All right, so we'll do a little something like this. And we're gonna measure it to go up. Maybe somewhere around the same area. Let's see. Nine inches would be good. All right, so like that is a T. And it's gonna go plastic into there. Look, they got a piece of wood here to keep this thing leveled. And that don't look too good if you know what I mean. Got wires hanging. Oh gosh. Anyways, I just gotta get this side right, draining. And it is what it is. I mean, it's pitched like insanely crazy, but it's gonna drain well. I'm tired of having water overflowing in here, freezing up. All right guys, so back there, I'm just gonna have it elbow right into the electric drain pan. So, set this up. Make sure it's all the way in. Okay. And I'm gonna have to go in from this side. 
Let me get it in there. Hopefully we can. It's kind of ridiculous. And it will. Right through there. It's going to drain right in. Let's connect this properly. Position that one before we press anything and everything else and we'll be all right. I also want to put as much RFlex on before I make any final connections. Right there. This stops right here. I need a little longer to go through there. I'm gonna pull this insulation back. Connect this here. I think it'll go through there. Hold that back. What I could do to hold that back is put this cutter in place. Little AC trick. Let's open this up and hold this back here. That'll hold that. Let's position everything in place and press it. Alright, everything's in position. Elbows going down into the pan. Let's press it. Get out of here soon. They need this space. Okay, and here. So I figured a way to make it nice. So I pushed this inside here. As you can see, it's in there. Now it looks like kind of more like one tube instead of just in and out. So we're gonna go like that. And we're gonna use clamps, pipe clamps, to tighten it down. And we should be good on that end. All right, one well, connection. Not a fan of that cork tape, but it is what it is. Full insulation coming down. Right there. I actually have to cut the metal. <laughs> Whatever works, right? It's a lot better drain setup. And it goes straight into the hot pan underneath. I'm gonna wrap this one over here. If anyone found this video interesting or helpful, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe as I come out with new videos every week. And I'll catch you all next time.